Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Brie if you are new here and in today's video I have some empties to go through with you guys. So I have a little box sitting next to me with all my trash from the past couple months. I want to see that my last empties that I put up was in um, November, I believe. So it's been a couple months. I was gonna say it's been longer than I wanted it to be, but I really don't have that much stuff in here. So if you guys are interested in seeing all of the products that I've used up and my final thoughts on them, then just keep on watching. All right, so let's start off with skincare. And to preface this part of the video, if you haven't seen it, uh, I want to say it was actually back in November as well. I put up a skincare collection and declutter video in which I kind of explain where I'm at with my skincare, why I am the way that I am, <laughs> and what my plan is for my skincare going forward. So um, as of right now, I have hit the point where I am taking a break pretty much from all of my morning skincare except for SPF. I am taking a complete break from any chemical exfoliants, anything like that. I'm giving my skin just, just a little bit of time to relax. Um, probably within the next month or so, I'm gonna purchase an AHA, start using that at night. That's where I'm at. Now you guys are caught up to speed. I also have, if this is your first time watching me, I have normal to dry skin. Um, tends to lean a little bit more dry, but it has its moments. Um, I also have acne prone skin after being on birth control for 12 years and then getting off of it. And it's been about two years since I've been off of it and my skin is still reacting like I am a hormonal teenager. So now that you're all caught up, let's talk about my skincare trash. First thing is the, the ordinary rosehip oil. I absolutely adore this rosehip oil, or I, I, I just adore rosehip oil in general. This is just the one that I purchased, and this is inevitably the one that I will repurchase in the future. I love using this um, all over my face. I have very watery eyes. It's actually doing it right now. Um, but I will have my eyes water right in this area, and it will just sit, and it will just eat away at my skin, and it's the fucking worst. But this is one of the things that I can put on the corners of my eyes. I can put it right here when I start to get a little bit like peely right in there and it will immediately fix it. I also use this when I shave my face. So I regularly shave my eyebrows and my mustache and once or twice a month, depending on how lazy I am, I will shave my entire face. I'll cover my whole face in um, rosehip seed oil and I will take a little brow razor or facial shaving razor and I will shave my face. So I love doing that. I do currently have another facial oil that I'm using, um, but when that one's over, I'm gonna end up going back to this one. Kind of gross, it like leaked out of the side, but this is the 4-3 Beauty Radiate Vitamin C Serum. I'm not gonna hold it because it's really gross, but um, that was what I was using in the morning. I kind of worked my way up to it. It's a different formula. I'm very used to seeing vitamin C in containers that you can't see it because vitamin C is very like, it will turn bad really quickly in light and oxygen. So something about apparently that formula, whatever, it makes it so it doesn't turn. I never had any issues with it changing or anything like that. I did like it. It felt really, really good on my skin. I really just think I hit a point where I kind of plateaued with vitamin C. So I'm taking a little bit of a break. I currently have a mini version of that, of the 4-3 Radiate that I'm going to start using eventually whenever I feel like starting back up my morning skincare routine. But as of right now, um, I'm taking a little bit of a break from it. I do like it. Like I said, it made my skin feel really good. I didn't have any bad reactions to it. It never made me break out or anything like that. A value size of the CeraVe Hydrating Cleanser. I adore this cleanser. I ended up purchasing a, um, I bought it a long time ago. Like I bought it a long time ago and then it took me forever to finish this to the point where I would, I could start the other one because I didn't, I didn't need two cleansers open. And then it's just been taking me forever to go through that one. But I have a, it's a Pacifica cleanser that I do enjoy. It cleanses my skin really well. It takes off any residual makeup after using oil cleansers. I do enjoy it, but I can tell that it's stripping my skin. Whereas with this one, it does not strip my skin. I don't feel tight getting out of the shower or after washing my face using this. However, it does not do the most phenomenal job removing makeup, so it's kind of a toss up between the two. This is the Stridex Max Strength Pads. 
Um, so this was my form of BHA. I used this every single morning. I have been using this every single morning for years and years and years. Um, before I even got off of birth control, I was using this in the morning. Um, never had any bad reactions to it. It did make my skin feel tight, but it's kind of going to. Um, but it wasn't like a long lasting thing. Like I would let it sink into my skin and then I put a moisturizer on and it was fine. Or actually I would let it sink into my skin and then I put on a vitamin C and then my skin was fine. So I never had any bad issues with it. Same thing with the vitamin C though. I really just think that I plateaued with it and I'm just, I'm taking a little break from it, but I do plan on going back to this at some point. I'm going to use an AHA at night first for a while before I go back to this but I do like it and it's incredibly affordable. You get a lot in there. You get, in this package, it came with 110 wipes and in almost every single Stridex package that I've gotten, there will always be like a ridiculous amount of liquid at the end. So what I'll do is, you know, once it's hit a point where I'm trying to get pads out, but I'm just hitting liquid and then I'm having to like dig my little fingers around in there, I will take some like cotton rounds and I will toss them in the bottom and then they'll just absorb the rest. And so I end up getting like another 10 pads out of it, which is pretty cool. The next item is gonna be a fun one for me to talk about. I will link up in the eye and down below my Sephora haul where I tried this product for the first time. I tried it on camera. I let you guys know how I felt about it. I told you guys how I felt about it afterwards. I've talked about it a couple times on my channel, <laughs> but this is the one size go off makeup dissolving mist. Let me start off by saying, cool concept, it does its job, okay? Like, we've gotten that out of the way. It does its job, it's a cool concept. I cannot, in my right mind, continue to support somebody who doesn't believe that, it, either doesn't believe that COVID exists or somebody who simply does not give a fuck. I, the amounts of videos that I have seen of Patrick Starr going out to parties, not wearing masks, making out with Tana, like the amount of disgusting things that I have seen coming from this person, it was a fucking chore for me to finish this product because I thought about how much I hated him every time I put this on, which may sound over dramatic and don't get me wrong. But as of filming this, 475,000 Americans have died. Roughly about a month ago, one in three people in Los Angeles, which is where Patrick Starr lives, had COVID. It's not acceptable. It's just, it's not fucking okay. And it pisses me off that influencers like him and Nikita and James and Tana and all of Logan and Jake and all of these people. I don't fucking know if Logan goes out. I just know about Jake and whatever. Think that they can just go out to these parties and it'll be fine because they can afford whatever fine they'll get or, you know, they can afford the good healthcare treatment. Never mind the fact that ICU beds were at zero. Never mind the fact that people were fucking dying. They could not be bothered to stay at home and sit on their couch like the fucking rest of us. They all have houses that are better than any of ours. They have more money. They have the means to get everything that they could ever want delivered to them. But you're going to go out to a fucking party, risk your life, risk everyone else's life, just so you can make out with Tana? Like, seriously? And also, I just want to point out that this smells like trash. And when you spray it on your face, it gets in your nose and it smells like vomit, which is how I feel thinking about Patrick Starr. I'm done. I'm fucking done. Okay. Let's talk about my makeup empties. Let's be in a better mood. I got that out of my system and that was what I needed. So thank you for letting me rant. But I have a ton of makeup empties in front of me, so let's talk about those instead. I have the NYX Bear With Me spray. So I have the spray that has cannabis sativa seed oil in it and then the one that doesn't. 
Um, I love both of these. I use them at two different times during my makeup. I will spray this on my face before I put on primer and I will spray this one on my face after I've put foundation and concealer on, but I haven't set my face yet. I love using both of them. They feel so good on my skin. I just, I really, really like them. They're just a nice, they just make me happy to apply. They're just a nice addition to my makeup routine. One last spray. I have an empty Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. It's, it's, it's one of my favorite sprays. I will, this isn't the spray that I use to keep my makeup on for like a long time, but I use this spray to kind of absorb all of the powder and just make everything look like skin. And I just, I love it. I love the Continuous Setting Mist, the hairspray style nozzle on it. It's just a great product and I will never stop purchasing this. Next up is the e.l.f. Halo Glow Setting Powder. I actually am wearing this powder today. I have it everywhere on my face except for on my under eyes. I adore this setting spray. It has the most beautiful, subtle glow to it. It sets down my makeup beautifully. Nothing moves around when I have it on. It's just a really good, really affordable, really nice setting powder. And then I also have a Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder. This is the Fair Light shade, which is my whole face shade. I use the Fair shade for underneath my eyes and then I use Fair Light for the rest of my face. This is hands down one of my absolute favorite setting powders. I always go back to this one. My biggest complaint with this setting powder is the fact that there is no way to get the sifter off, no way to get into where the actual powder is held because as you can see there is still how do i hold this correctly there is still quite a bit of powder in there but i can't get it out it won't it's not enough to come out of the sifters but it's too much to like too much to make me feel like i'm wasting it it's just i wish there was a way to get in there if you know of a way to get into the Maybelline Fit Me Loose powders, please comment down below and let me know. I would love to know. I would love to be able to use all of it and not waste any. Next up, I have a product that I cannot turn completely. It is the number seven Lift and Luminate Pressed Powder. I shattered it and then used up the majority of it and there's just like some residual dust and like powder rocks inside of there. Um, that is the powder that I use every single day. I press it all over my skin after I've put on loose powder just to make sure everything is really locked into place. It's hands down my favorite powder. It does last me quite a long time. Um, there's a decent amount of product in there for the fact that I use it every single day. I don't go through that many, um, but I just love it. It just makes my skin look so good and just a little bit blurred and I just, it's such a good, such a good powder. Next up, I have the Revolution Pro Eye Elements Eye Primer, and this was in the shade Core. This was a complete and absolute dupe for the for the MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre. I used every last little bit out of this container. Um, I think they discontinued it. I can't find it anywhere anymore, which makes me really, really sad, but it was a really good eye primer if it still exists somewhere and I hope you can find it, but I did really, really like this eye primer. Next up, I have two lip liners. I have a <laughs> Wet n Wild Verde Comment lip liner, which I've talked to death. I've talked both of these liners to death on my channel. The Nick uh, Wet n Wild Verde Comment lip liner and then the LA Girl Nonstop Nude lip liner. These are both my absolute favorite every day. I use these religiously lip liners. They're both so creamy. They are really affordable. They're just really, really, really good lip liners. Next, I have um, an e.l.f. waterproof gel liner that it doesn't look like it's done, but the rest of the liner actually fell out of it. So it was a good, it was, you know, it was good enough. It was a black lip, or black gel pencil liner. Um, it was, it was good. It didn't smudge on me, it didn't do anything weird, it was creamy, it was just a good basic black liner. Next I have a NYX Faux Black um, liner in Oxblood, which you can see is also trying to come out, but I had had this lit liner for a really, really long time because, you know, not every day calls for a dark red, like, water line. Um, I absolutely adore the color of this. 
I had just noticed that it had stopped performing as well as it should be and I had already had a backup so I opened the backup and tried that one and I was like holy shit that one's so much better than the one that I have currently open so I called it which is probably a good thing considering you know the pencil part is trying to come out but it's a really really good liner it's affordable creamy pigmented lasts all day I do really enjoy it I have a duo lash glue this is the brush on one specifically the green packaging I know that there's like multiple different colors of the packaging this one's the green one is the one that I always use it was just honestly to the point where it was getting really gunky and kind of gross in the last like you know that much of it so I replaced it with a different one this is my everyday favorite lash glue I use it all the time I already have one opened and used like I'm using it currently so a good lash glue next is the Maybelline age rewind re eraser instant age rewind eraser concealer it's the age rewind concealer um, I bought this along with the fit me concealer to retry them after having not used them for several years both of those concealers burn the shit out of my under eyes I don't know what it is I feel like I don't hear anyone else say that, but they burned the shit out of my under eyes. So I ended up just finishing this off by using to conceal like my acne before putting on foundation. Worked fine. I'm not going to repurchase it though because I don't need to have a special concealer just to conceal my acne when I could just use whatever concealer I'm already putting on my face. So I have two empty lip glosses, which is actually quite, quite a feat. I have the Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme Plumping Lip Gloss, and then I have the ABH Gloss, and this one was in Peachy, um, and then this one was just like the clear one. They're obviously both little mini travel size ones. I used both of these every single day, whether I was filming or not filming, I would put it on while I was doing my eye makeup and then wipe it off. And I always just had like just a little bit of hydration left over, especially with the Too Faced one. I loved the effect that it gave my lips. As it stands right now, I have probably about four or five other lip glosses that I have plans to use in the same way that I used these. I will probably inevitably though end up going back to the Too Faced one once I'm done with all of those because I really did like the way that it made my lips look. As for the ABH one, it was pretty, it's just like a little bit too metallic for what I wear as lip gloss. Um, it smells really good. It felt good on my lips. It was just too metallic for my taste. So it became a, uh, a getting ready lip gloss. Only three more things left to go. This is the Milani Weekend Brow Brow Pen. This one specifically is in the shade Soft Brown. When I wanted to try them out, I bought all three of the shades that they had because I didn't really know what shade I was going to be. This one was way too light for me, so I used it as a base, and then understandably, since I was putting the most of this on and building it up because it was so light, um, I did run through this one pretty quickly, but I really, really, really enjoy the brow pens in general. They're definitely my favorite way to apply my eyebrows and have eyebrows. I'm currently wearing the weekend brow just in medium brown and espresso on my face, but if you have fairer skin or lighter hair than me, then soft brown would be the way to go. It was really pretty. It was a really good neutral undertone. It just was way too light for me. Next up is a L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara. Hands down my favorite mascara. I already have another one open. I was just thinking earlier, I was like, I wonder how long it's been and how much more time I have with the current mascara. <laughs> but it is hands down my favorite mascara. I love it. I don't need to talk a lot about this because like literally everyone always talks about this mascara, but it's for good reason because it's a really fucking good mascara. And last but certainly not least, the Physicians Formula Eye Booster Liquid Liner and specifically in the waterproof style. Um, this is one of my two favorite liquid liners. I flip back and forth between this one and then Epic Ink Liner. I have been noticing that this one's been a little bit harder to come by. I don't know why that is, um, but they're both really, really good. This one is definitely waterproof. Um, like I said earlier in the video, I do have watery eyes. It holds up really well to my watery eyes. It doesn't fall apart on me or anything like that. Um, also, the packaging is so stunning with these like 
little water droplets on it. It's just such a good liner. It's so, so, so good. And that is going to wrap up today's video. Those were all of my empties and all my final thoughts on those products. I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. <laughs> Sorry for my rant, but I just had to get that off of my chest. It, I've been holding it in for a while. I always, there's such a certain type of satisfaction that comes with finishing a makeup product, especially when you have a larger collection because it's just harder to finish products. And obviously there are certain types of products that you're gonna finish way faster than others, but like finishing a lip gloss, that's that's like actually an accomplishment. It's like finishing a, a ballpoint pen before you lose it. That it's, there's just like a certain satisfaction there that just makes me happy. So, I'm gonna wrap up today's video. Comment down below and let me know a product that you recently finished. Or, let me know the last time that you finished a ballpoint pen before you lost it. I would love to know because it's been literally years for me. Please subscribe if you have not already. It would mean the world to me. Like this video, ring the bell, do all the things. I hope that you guys have an awesome, awesome day and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.